Hello everyone this is Shweta Dubey and I'm going to talk about business planning and entrepreneurship management so the topic that we are going to cover today is uh, types of entrepreneur and what exactly is an entrepreneur firstly we'll try to understand what an entrepreneur means entrepreneur this term comes from the french word entreprendre which means to undertake so an entrepreneur is someone who will take up opportunities who will look at the different innovations which are available he is someone who is a risk taker who will bear the capabilities who will look at the resources combine it and then bring it together so that he he can bring in a viable opportunity for promoting his business he will do this by bringing in innovation into the society making the society upgrade its standard of living so that exactly is what comprises an entrepreneur now what are the terminologies which were given or what exactly is the evolution of entrepreneurship the term entrepreneur was first coined in the term in the 16th century by a frenchman it was the frenchman who termed the entrepreneurs as people who used to go for military expeditions then in the 1700 ad it was thomas adam who applied the term to civil engineering activities for example construction or any other work related to construction then it came about in an academic terminology by joseph by richard cantillon in the year 1730 he said that an entrepreneur can be someone who can do anything then in the 20th century it was joseph shumpeter who came up with the term entrepreneurship and related it to innovation someone who comes up with something new who starts something new it can be either a new product it can be either a new service or it can be someone who is coming up with a new process altogether bringing in something new into the society moving on how can we define an entrepreneur to be someone who is associated with running a business simply running a business but it's not just that he is someone who combines all the resources takes all the risks and brings about the innovation into the society he is someone who is an agent of change he is someone who looks at uncertainty who looks at uh, the different r- r- issues that he is facing and on the basis of that he brings in the necessary resources combines it and brings a finished product for the society thereby commercializing it giving profit to himself and bringing about upgradation to the society as well so this is whole and soul of what an entrepreneur is all about as stated by noted management guru peter drucker an entrepreneur is a person who always searches for change responds to it and then exploits it as an opportunity he is always on a lookout ki what are the opportunities which are available and then he will exploit it in such a way that it is profitable for him this is what our management guru peter drucker has to say about entrepreneurship now coming to the different characteristics of entrepreneur entrepreneurs are someone who have a very strong desire to achieve their goals they have higher expectations and they want to achieve goals besides that they are someone who do not like to be bossed around they want to be their own boss they are someone who are risk bearers but mind you the risk is not something which is going to be un- calculated it is a very calculated risk they have each and everything planned out and thus they are going to take risks which are in their capacity of undertaking that risk they can bear that risk secondly entrepreneurs are very confident in their ability to succeed they are self motivated individuals who are ready to take risk as much as possible they are very much confident in each and every stride that they take towards establishing their business they are not only confident but they are also future oriented everything that they do are, are is done with a vision in mind they keep 2 to 3 years or maybe 5 years maybe 10 years down the line in their mind and then they start their own business along with that they are also very flexible which means that they are ready to change their ad- they are ready to adapt to the changing uh, surroundings around them they have the ability to find and explore new opportunities so in case there is anything new which is coming up they will be always on a lookout they will take that opportunity and within a strike they will start deciding what to do next how to implement it in their own business and how to capitalize it not only that they are goal setters but along with that they are also problem solvers they will uh, they will uh, plan things properly with proper steps and thus with target oriented approach they are going to solve each and every problems that they will encounter on the way now besides that 
they are always ready to learn they are very quick learners but they are also ready to learn as and how the opportunity presents them they are optimistic in their approach towards any kind of uncertainty that they face they are skilled at organizing and managing so they are someone who are creative a b they are someone who are very good at management they have team leading skills and they are also highly motivated they have clarity of vision towards whatever they want to approach they are high on interpersonal skills meaning they very well know that they cannot do their business alone they have to have a team of people to work along with therefore they will have a, uh, they will have communication skills they will have interpersonal skills through which they are going to interact with people and they are going to make their goals become a reality they have reasonable level of technical knowledge without the knowledge of technology it is not possible for an entrepreneur to flourish therefore sooner or later he will imbibe all those technical skills and make it a point that all his members of the organization also have that technical skills with him now coming to the different types of entrepreneurs we can categorize entrepreneurs on the basis of various types the first of which is on the basis of the type of business if we look we have four types in this firstly there is a trading entrepreneur a trading entrepreneur is someone who is dealing with the import and export of business he is not responsible for manufacturing any product but only about selling and buying products second type of entrepreneur is a service entrepreneur one who deals with the service industry so let's say if you have a hotel so you are a service entrepreneur let's say if you have a law firm you have you are a service entrepreneur the third type of entrepreneur is a agricultural entrepreneur someone who is dealing with all the processes required in agriculture so if you are a person who is uh, a supplier of fertilizers so such a person can be said to be an agricultural uh, entrepreneur such people are called as agripreneurs now the last type of business entrepreneur is your manufacturing entrepreneur someone who is dealing with the production of goods and service such people come up with new products and service and they produce them next type on the basis of which we classify entrepreneurs as is use of technology in this firstly we have technical entrepreneur someone who is involved in all the technical aspects of business so he is someone who will come up with new production processes he will come up with new machinery for a business to run next one is the non technical entrepreneur someone who does not deal with the technical enterprise as the name suggests he is someone who will be involved in the marketing aspects of the business he will be someone who will be involved in the promotional aspects of business so basically not a tech savvy person but someone involved in promotion and marketing coming to the next classification we classify on the basis of gender a male personality who is doing a business is called as a male entrepreneur and a woman who is doing a business is called as a women entrepreneur although for women entrepreneur there are certain constraints a women entrepreneur can be classified as one when a she has the ownership of 50% investment in the business and b there are 50% employees in that organization who are women so then we can say that that is a women run enterprise coming to the next type we have on the basis of the size of enterprise so there is a small scale uh, small scale entrepreneur someone whose investment into the business is up to 1 crore next is medium scale enterprise where the investment lies between the range of 1 crore to 5 crores and then we have large scale investor or large scale enterprise wherein the investment is above the uh, above the investment of 5 crore rupees next we have classification given by clarence danhoff now clarence danhoff classifies entrepreneurs on the basis of the economic stages of development he states that the initial level there is a lot of learning to do and slowly and steadily you will find that there are advancements in the type of entrepreneurs that we get to see in this the very first one that we have is an innovative entrepreneur now this is sham peter's innovation entrepreneur he is someone who will innovate he is someone who will create a process he will create an idea he will create a product or a, or a service so such a person is called as an innovating entrepreneur coming up with something new coming up with something different which will reform the way that the society functions Next we have imitative entrepreneur as the name suggests this is someone who will copy from the innovating entrepreneurs imitative entrepreneurs will adopt they are very flexible and they are very good at adopting changes next we have a fabian entrepreneur 
A Fabian entrepreneur has a very traditionalistic approach of entrepreneurship. He is not ready to change. Although at the time when he does face risk, he will definitely try to imbibe some changes, but not to that big extent as an innovative or an imitative entrepreneur would do. We have next drone entrepreneurs. A drone entrepreneur is someone who is very very traditionalistic, who is very rigid and will not change even at the cost of incurring losses. He will not change his production process irrespective of the fact whether they are getting any kind of losses or not. Next, we have classification by behavioral scientists. According to this, the according to this we can classify entrepreneurs on the basis of ownership. So let's say we have a solo operator. Uh, a person who will who is a sole proprietor of a business the whole and soul of the business lies in his hands then we come to active partners someone who will be associated with another person when dealing with uh, when uh, when starting a business he is in collaboration with someone and he will start that business then we have inventors someone who will come up with new technology and will be concentrating on the creative aspects next we have challengers who are someone who will look at the challenges that the society presents to them come up with options come up with innovations and then present it to the people to adopt and then we have buyers someone who will do the job of buying and acquiring a business so let's say a person who is uh, who has the money who will go for a setup business and buy that business and become the owner so these are the different types of entrepreneurs that we have and we can categorize them into We started with the size of business, the type of industry, on the basis of gender, on the basis of the size of enterprise, then on the basis of classification by behavioral scientists and by by uh, Clarence Danhoff. With this, we end today's lecture. Thank you very much.